too. Someone's hungry. And, and so I am. I missed breakfast this morning. And as you can see, I'm famished. We're going to eat all of that. Sure. No doubt about it. This coleslaw contains nut nutritional goodness. Who said that carrots, cabbage and onions are bad for you? I have to, to declare this statement in front of you. I am using low-fat mayonnaise with this coleslaw. So at least give me credit for this. I'm going to eat half of this now and the rest later on during the day. And one other thing. I'm going to eat breakfast every day. I promise you. We also suggest to eat some brown bread or pasta because they have a low glycemic level. Thus, they will keep you fuller for a longer period of time. Thank you, girls. This is a very good example where we teachers can learn a lot from our students. Thank you. I'm really proud of you. You're welcome, sir. And next time, get the stairs instead of the lift. Exercise is just as important as a good diet. I know you. And it's good to know that my students are taking care of me. As from today, I consider you as an extension of my family. God bless you guys, and thank you. I'm glad Mr. Zamit listened to our advice and is now following a healthy diet. Let us explain how we carried out the experiment to give him this advice. The food items, except for carrots, cabbages and onions, are placed in a mortar and ground with a plastic. You can also add some distilled water to make it in a little liquid form. Using glucose strips, which we dipped in the food item, to determine the concentration of glucose in the food item. This was done by comparing it to glucose strips dipped in 4%, 2%, 1%, 0.5%, 0.25%, 0.125%, 0.065%, glucose solutions. Previously, we had carried out an, inf an investigation to find the reaction time of the vertex and found it to be 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, the glucose strips were dipped again to determine if the glucose levels has increased. Found out that the onions and carrots specifically are, ve are vegetables which are high in glucose when digested and low-fat mayo, in fact, contains more glucose than regular mayo. Our advice to everyone is to eat moderately. Large portions, even of nutritious food, like vegetables, should be reduced to ensure a healthy lifestyle. 